There was a groove which the O-ring, both the primary and the secondary O-rings, fit in those grooves. Uh, and there was a little flange and tang that, that they came together. And the, the, in order to stop the gas from, from going around and, and escaping, when the initial uh, bit of gas hit the first primary O-ring, that pressure would push the O-ring into the little space between the, the flange and the tang, and that would make the seal. In other words, the O-ring was not in a sealing configuration when it was just sitting statically on the launch pad. It has to move dynamically at the moment of ignition to be able to make the seal. And the requirement for it to move quickly is why it was dependent on temperature because lower temperatures, less flexibility, and not so rapid reconfiguration of the O-ring.